top handle bags come in all different shapes and sizes. From woven totes to leather crossbody bags, top handles are great options to consider for your luxury collection. So let's take you through a few of Creme de Luxury's selection of top handles with double top handles that you should consider for your luxury collection. Welcome to Creme de Luxury, the place for an exceptional luxury lifestyle. And at number one, we have the Hermes Birkin bags. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired and sought after luxury items in the luxury fashion industry. Their iconic look and shape, the skins and leathers that they are made with, and the amount of time and skill that goes into creating one, all accumulate to create the most luxurious bags that millions would love to get their hands on. Like other iconic Hermes bags, there is a story behind the making of the Birkin. The Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin. An English actress based in France during the majority of her career, Jane appeared in movies like Blow Up and Wonderwall and then moved to the French film industry, playing the lead role in the film's slogan in 1969. The story goes that Jane Birkin was the mind behind this bag. The Birkin came into existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and the former Hermès chief executive Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on an airplane flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane ended up sitting next to the former Hermès chief executive, and as Jane was placing her straw travelling bag in the overhead compartment for her seat, the contents of her bag fell out onto the floor, leaving her scrambling to find them. Jane explained to Dumas that it had been very hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an aeroplane sick bag and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin bag. Hermès debuted the new iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Birkin is the ultimate fashion statement at the top of any dream handbag list, only surpassing the Hermès Kelly. The Birkin bag features a signature silhouette, solid leather construction and heavy precious metal hardware. The Hermès Birkin is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. Prices of the Hermès Birkin start at upwards of almost £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Rising every year, the Birkin bag is one of the most prized possession of the deep-pocketed few. The Birkin is a boxy leather design, capacious and roomy, elegant and beautiful, sturdy, crafted in supple leather. It also features a buckled flat top and a clasp, a key and padlock fastening and two top handles allowing you to carry it in your hand or on your wrist. The keys are enclosed in a leather lanyard known as the clouchette, carried by looping it through a handle. You can lock the Birkin by closing the top flaps over the buckle loops, wrapping the buckle straps or closing the lock on the front hardware. Many Birkin carriers also tuck the flap inside the bag and the buckle strap with the lock in the front to show the esteemed Hermès made in France stamp. The Birkin interior is relatively simple with an unlined leather interior with two internal pockets, an open compartment with a large zippered pocket and an additional open pocket. The zip has the Hermès logo engraved on both sides of the slider. It also has solid metal feet called the clou, allowing you to put the Birkin on the floor without getting it dirty. The Birkin comes in a range of sizes from 25 to 30, 35, 40 centimeters, with traveling bags of 50 and 55 centimeters. The Birkin bag also comes in a variety of materials and heights, from box calf leather to Clements, Epsom, Togo, and to ostrich and other exotic skins. Costs can vary depending on the type of leather and gets even higher if exotic skins are used and if the bag is adorned with precious materials and jewels. Birkins are distributed to Hermes boutiques on unpredictable schedules and its limited quantities, creating scarcity and exclusivity. However, the bag has shown up on the upscale resale market in abundance and they are now frequently sold in second-hand boutiques and all through social media. The Birkin bag is not only an object of true desire for every true fashionista, but also a work of art. The Birkin is the most iconic Hermes bag a symbol not only of the Maison's savoir-faire, 
but of luxury, beauty, elegance and pure class. From Hollywood to high society, the iconic Birkin bag has become a global symbol of status and wealth. The timeless Birkin has enjoyed exalted iconic status because it never bends to trends, securing its place, prime position in the history of luxury fashion handbags. This exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. The Birkin is a true timeless masterpiece that will become the crown jewel of any luxury handbag collection. Only if you can obtain one though. And at number two, we have the Hermes Belide bag. The history of the Hermes Belide is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors. When Emile Maurice Hermes visited Henry Ford, he took Hermes around a dozen Ford car production factories in the US and shows him what the futures of cars would be. Emile was so impressed with a new technology used to fasten a cloth to the top of a car, the zipper, which was used on the roof of Ford's convertible cars. Emile Maurice brought back this new invention that was going to revolutionize luxury handbags as we know it. Hermes had the zip closure patented in France and Hermes added a zipper to the middle of the bag design. Shortly after that, the Belide bag was created in 1923. It was the first Hermes bag made with a zip and the first bag in history made with a zipper. The word Belide meant meteor or comet at first and then in the 20th century it was turned into a nickname for sports cars or fast cars going full speed on the road. The name of the bag itself was supposed to match the spirit of the first car races and rallies. The Belide was initially named Le Sac pour le Auto, or the bag for the car, before it became the Belide. The Hermes Belide was very modern in its shape for a bag dating back to the 1920s, and since then the Belide has never gone out of fashion. The Belide is a minimal yet graceful design, round, easy to carry with a very spacious interior. The Belide is practical and secure thanks to the zipper. When it was first released, the Belide bag was a must-have bag and the elegant bag design was quickly adopted by many. The Belide was used for a lot of travelling and Hermes became the go-to brand for travelling accessories. The Belide is a universal and understated classic bag. Originally designed for storing your valuables during travel and to be easily placed in the trunk of a car, it wasn't until 1982 that a smaller version was debuted. Rather than the travel size version, the Belide was introduced in handbag size, in a trapezoidal shape, equipped with curved handles, a removable leather shoulder strap, a padlock and zipper clochette, and a single zip closure. The exterior is gorgeously adorned with a lovely stitch pattern. The classic Hermes Belide bag is usually unrecognisable to the average person, but the in the know fashionistas and collectors know that the Belide is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The Belide bag has stood through almost 100 years in fashion and is still going strong, with Hermes creating limited edition pieces in addition to the different sizes and skins for everyday uses and travel. The Belide is an extremely versatile bag. The Belide comes in six different sizes, the largest at 45 centimeters. Next, we have the 35 cm, the 31 cm, 30 cm, the most recent 27 cm, and the very rare 20 cm. The most common sizes purchased right now are the 27 cm, the 31 cm, and the new 30 cm. The 45 cm Belide is used more for travel or as a weekend bag than for everyday use, and is often used by men. The rare 20 cm Belide is very difficult to find and is a super hot style right now. Prices of the Hermes Belide start at upwards of £4,500 for the Belide Mini, depending on the exotic material used. The Belide is still in demand even though it is not as famous as the Birkin or Kelly. Like all other Hermes bags, there are various types of styles in the Belide. It comes in two different styles the Mew and the Rigid. Mew is a softer leather which gives the bag a more casual look. The Rigid is hard and makes it a sturdier looking bag and a good option as a work bag. Depending on the versions, there are two further styles. One is the Web Belide, which has an exterior pocket, no oval pouch and two-way zip closure. 
and the other is just the Belay, which has a single zip closure, the oval pack and an extra long strap. The oval leather part is especially made for you to adorn your bag with your initials. The Belay comes in thickened leather for the meal and Epson and Clements leather for the rigid. Although some believe the Belay is for the more mature fashionistas, it still remains one of Hermes's popular models. Since the Hermes Belay bag is so old and cherished in the fashion house, it is one of the hardest Hermes bags to find, even on the second-hand market. With over a hundred years from the release of the first model, the Hermes Belay bag represents an essential part and piece of fashion history, with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The bag is most popular in Tokyo and Paris, where discreet, elegant designs is key for fashionistas that are not loud or over the top. The Belay bag is a chic and luxury bag understated but worthy of a place in your luxury handbag collection. And at number three, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy. The Louis Vuitton Speedy is the most significant and iconic bag from one of the world's rich heritage fashion houses. The Speedy was in fact the very first handbag from Louis Vuitton. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success and is now one of the most purchased Louis Vuitton bags in history. A few years after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the famous monogram canvas. The original size of the Louis Vuitton Speedy was 30 centimeters wide, making it manageable yet roomy. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it could be argued that it didn't really become the coveted and timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. Audrey Hepburn and her unique appeal put the Speedy at the very top of the fashion scene. The actress known for starring in Roman Holiday and Breakfast at Tiffany's already adored Louis Vuitton bags and on one particular occasion requested that Louis Vuitton create a custom Speedy model that was smaller than the existing one that she could carry regularly. Louis Vuitton obliged and created a smaller version introduced as the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, which is still very popular today. When the Speedy 25 of Audrey Hepburn was introduced to the wider market, the demand for the Speedy soared. The fate of the Speedy was finally sealed and to date, it still remains an incredibly iconic bag. Initially, the Speedy was offered in the size 30, but the Speedy is now available in five sizes, the Nano, Audrey Hepburn's smaller Speedy 25, which came in in 1965, the 30, the original size, the 35 and the 30, referring to the width in centimetres of the bag. The Nano Speedy, originally referred to as the Mini Speedy, changed to Nano in 2019. The Mini bag features top handles and a non-detachable crossbody strap. It is big enough for a small zippy coin purse and your mobile phone. The Speedy 25 is a very popular size due to it being practical but not oversized. This option can easily fit all your essentials inside. The Speedy 30 is an elegant, compact handbag size, a stylish companion for city life and remains the most popular and versatile style. It is just perfect for all your larger essential items and is a great everyday work size bag. The Speedy 35 bag is a medium to large bag and again, even better if you want to take more with you or a weekend away where you don't need too much. The Speedy 40 is the largest bag in the range and is a great option for all your essentials and more. A fantastic option as a small carry-all luggage bag for your weekend trip to the city of a few days. The Speedy is one of the most unique Louis Vuitton bags that is made from one large piece of fabric from front to back. In the monogram canvas design, as a result of this, there are no seams on the bottom of the bag and the back of the bag features the LV Monogram logo upside down. Despite the slight variations, each Speedy bag features several typical Louis Vuitton staple details. The Speedy opens up to an interior material made of canvas or microfiber with one large main compartment without dividers, making the bag extremely versatile for different uses. The handles on the Speedy bag are short, rounded and attached to the bag with pentagonal leather pieces with flawless stitching. There are additional pentagonal pieces on each end of the zipper and each speedy bag is adorned with brass hardware. 
The Speedy is available in the monogram canvas, the Demier Ebene, the Demier Azure print, and also Epileather, as well as the Playful Totem version. The original Speedy was supposed to be carried on the arm and did not have any shoulder straps, so in 2011, the Speedy got a small transformation with the introduction of a large shoulder strap. This refined Speedy was then called the Speedy Bandelier. The Bandelier meaning with a strap in French. The Speedy Bandelier was introduced in monogram canvas, Demier Ebene canvas, the Demier Azur canvas and the Ompriant leather as the perfect option for the modern woman needing a more open bag that offered hands-free usage, allowing the Speedy to be worn on the shoulder and crossbody. This additional strip of leather trimmings running up the sides of the bag is the easiest way to tell the difference between the Speedy original and the Speedy Bondelier. In addition, the Speedy Bondelier has two-way zippers for easy access. There have been numerous versions of the Speedy over the years and each Louis Vuitton creative director has revamped the Speedy to fit their own artistic flair. Over the years, the Speedy has become available in several more materials, including the Nomad leather, the black multicolour, white multicolour, and monogram en priant, the epi leather, and the ideal canvas, in addition to the traditional prints. Prices of the Louis Vuitton Speedy starts at upwards of over £1,000 for the Speedy 25 but embellished speedy bags and those constructed of different fabrics can be priced as high as £4,000 and more, especially in the case with the mink speedy. In 2012, Louis Vuitton decided to redesign the speedy monogram, updating it to align with modern use. On some speedy bags, an interior zipper pocket and different stitching on the handle base were introduced, whilst the older versions of the Louis Vuitton speedy where the leather connecting the bag's handles are flat and the stitching is visible below the brass rivet. On the new Speedy, the update features a redesigned handle-based chap, which is puffier, and the stitching goes around the brass rivet and smooth leather on both sides of the zipper. The silhouette of the Speedy is inspired by the Boston bag, a slightly dome-shaped structured bag. The Vachetta leather is a premium cowhide leather that is untreated, which over the years will receive a full patina and darken to a dark brown leather with frequent usage and exposure to the elements, which is also a good indicator of an authentic Louis Vuitton bag. The canvas is waterproof, scratch-free and tear resistant, the perfect material for a workhorse bag. Possessing the classic Louis Vuitton Speedy is a must-have for any bag lover and collector. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trends to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. The Speedy is a simple, sophisticated, sleek, elegant handbag merging fashion and functionality. The Speedy is a bag full of heritage and history dating back to the late 19th century, whilst remaining effortlessly chic. A testament to why it still remains one of Louis Vuitton's best-selling bags almost a century since its inception. It's no wonder Louis Vuitton calls the Speedy one of its icons. No creative director of Louis Vuitton has never let a significant collection go by without reimagining the Speedy, and no ultimate handbag collection is ever really complete without a Louis Vuitton Speedy in it. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Alma bag. The Louis Vuitton Alma bag is the epitome of an iconic bag. The elegant curved and structured shape of the Alma embodies classic city style. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Alma was the second handbag debuted by Louis Vuitton after the Speedy. The Louis Vuitton Alma bag was actually rumoured to be a custom bag made at the request of Gabrielle Chanel, who requested Louis Vuitton make her a day-sized travel bag. The Alma is a practical and compact trapezoidal shape with a long base similar to the Louis Vuitton steamer. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for the general consumption of all fashionistas. Although the Alma is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several years for this iconic bag to evolve into what it is now as one of the most recognisable bags in the world. It was first designed in the 1950s 
and actually named the Sak Masu. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional few years later, the bag was again renamed to the city chic bag, the Sac Champ Elise, after a famous avenue in Paris and redesigned to have a slimmer looking profile. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalized design. The bag was also decked out in the famous Louis Vuitton monogram canvas and finally given another name called Ulma. A tribute to place the Ulma, a landmark spot in the tree-lined square in Paris, where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Sienne in the Paris High Fashion District. It was this fourth and final name that was cemented and has become the modern-day Alma that has been a success ever since. The inspiration of the Alma's elegant and structured shape can be traced back to the French Art Deco movement of the early 20th centuries with its bold and architectural lines. The Alma bag was made to be capacious and functional with a wide bag opening. The Alma bag also features gold tone hardware complemented with a double zip. The bag opens up to an interior with a soft fibre lining with two inside compartments. The Alma also features sturdy studs at the bottom of the bag to protect the bag from scratches and dirt. The Alma bag is the perfect work to evening bag. The Louis Vuitton Alma also features the iconic dual leather top handles called the Toron, made from cowhide vachetta leather. The Alma is made from very durable material that is scratch resistant and waterproof to easily protect your bag. The Alma is a sleek and chic bag, sophisticated enough to elevate any outfit. Since 1992, the Alma has appeared in different finishes, fabrics and colours, adding to the appeal of the Alma as an every girl's bag. The Alma is available in different colours and finishes from the classic monogram to the epileather to the monogram venice and various limited edition designs gives you plenty of options to choose from. Prices of the Louis Vuitton Alma bag starts at upwards of over £1,200 for the Alma BB to over £3,000 for exotic leathers like ostrich, python and crocodile and limited edition bags. It is clear the strength of the Alma bag lies in its versatility. The Alma is available in five sizes that suit and serve different purposes and different types of fashionistas. By having an expansive range of bags, Louis Vuitton has significantly broaden the market of potential fashionistas attracted to the design and aesthetic of the Alma. The Alma comes in sizes from the Nano, the BB, the PM, the MM and the GM. The Alma GM size has now been discontinued. The BB, which means Bebe Bandelier, which is the French for baby shoulder. The Nano, which is Louis Vuitton's smallest handbag of the Alma range, has a detachable shoulder strap which means fashionistas now have a bag with even more utility and versatility. The Alma BB is big enough to hold all your necessary items. The PM stands for Petite Model in French meaning small model. Considerably larger than the Alma BB bag, the PM can easily hold a lot of essentials. The PM also comes with strap mounts that allow you to attach a strap. The MM stands for medium model. This size, along with the PM, are the most popular sizes. The Armour Louis Vuitton MM can easily hold many larger items and is perfect as an everyday bag. The GM is the largest size and stands for grand model, a popular size for travel. You can fit several outfits for a weekend getaway. Newer versions of the Armour bag also comes with a leather key crochet tag, padlock and an optional shoulder strap. Vintage Alma bags no longer have key tags and padlocks. The Alma also features a thick, full vachetta base bottom and bottom zipped closure, two exterior patch pockets that adds more space to your handbag. The Alma was designed for the modern woman and conscious fashionista and is a bag truly made to last. All these different appearances and designs, the Alma bag still remains a perfect bag moving through the times. Louis Vuitton bags have adorned the shoulders of the rich and famous for decades because the designs and amendments meet the needs and requirements of modern society of the time.
The Alma embodies seamless craftsmanship every season with the same beautiful, timeless style. The iconic monogram symbol of the Louis Vuitton is recognised globally, but the combination of innovation, quality and exclusivity has made the bag and the Louis Vuitton fashion house a success. The Alma stands firmly next to the Speedy in the archive of iconic Louis Vuitton handbags and is definitely one to consider for your investment collection. And at number five, we have the Dior Lady Dior bag. Since its debut, the Lady Dior bag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is an undeniably classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. The iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real life princess. The history of the Lady Dior can be said to be somewhat of a Cinderella story. Starting off as just a lovely sophisticated bag to the favourite accompanying bag of one of the most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994, designed under the creative director Gianfranco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be given a name and so was officially called the Chouchou, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. The bag first appeared and was presented to Lady Diana, Princess of Wales in 1995 by Bernadette Chirac. The story goes that Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique bag for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou. The bag was created and completed from start to finish in record time, in a single day. And this time was the first time the bag was made in leather. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris in a classic black and Diana absolutely loved it. Dior's stunning creation was immediately adopted by the princess and shortly after her trip to France she ordered the bag in numerous colours and was often seen carrying it thereafter. From its first appearance and from that moment onwards, the Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The Lady Dior bag has forever become synonymous with the style of one of the world's most cherished princesses and the popularity of the Lady Dior has never reduced since. The Lady Dior bag is as iconic as it is legendary. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana. When the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Chouchou to the Lady Dior bag, it was an instant runaway success and the Lady Dior has become Dior's flagship bag. The Lady Dior is one of the cornerstones of the Dior Fashion House and imbues all the Dior house codes. The Lady Dior bag epitomises the Christian Dior heritage with its classic timeless design and luxurious elegant silhouette emblematic of the Dior Fashion House. The Lady Dior features a boxy, rectangular and rigid silhouette. The bag features two structured top handles and logo charms that are now a signature of Dior. The arched handle imbues femininity and sophistication and is adorned with the decorative sparkling metal charm jewellery, each charm making up the four letters of the name Dior hanging from the handles. On the body of the bag, the hardware and the metallic charms are usually available in a gold or silver tone that adds a shine and brilliance to the iconic bag. Some of the Lady Dior bags today allow you to opt for a champagne hardware or a light blend of pale gold or even the matte black. The hardware zippers and plaques also carry the initials of Monsieur Dior. Today, the Lady Dior bag offers you the opportunity to personalise the bag to your liking along with wide shoulder straps for easier and effortless wearing. The bag also comes with protective stud feet to keep the bottom of the bag clean. The Lady Dior is also adorned with another house code in the infamous Canage motif. The Lady Dior is most commonly decorated with the Canage pattern. The Canage pattern was inspired by Napoleon III's chairs used by Christian Dior to welcome his clientele into his atelier at his first show in 1947. The original pattern was made in a lightweight weave made with materials like cane and raffia that is now emulated in the signature stitching of the Dior bag. 
Over the past two decades, season after season, the Lady Dior bag has been reimagined and revitalised countless times. The Lady Dior bag is now available in five different sizes, ranging from the Lady Dior Micro, the Lady Dior Mini, which was introduced in 2015, the Lady Dior Medium, the Lady Dior Large, and the Large Lady Dior Shopper Bag. The Lady Dior Medium is the perfect size for an everyday bag and comes with an optional, wide, adjustable and removable embellished shoulder strap, which was introduced in 2016 and is actually sold and purchased separately. This makes the bag versatile, giving you more carrying options whether you want to carry the bag over the shoulder or as a crossbody. In essence, the Lady Dior bag has not changed over the years, but each season, different types of leathers, materials from soft calfskin, sheepskin to delicate embroidery and luxurious velvet, microfiber, satin, denim, python, crocodile, tweed and even jacquard. In addition to a variety of textiles like colourful flower prints and more. There are also buy and tri-coloured version of the Lady Dior bag and even limited editions. These limited editions even range from extra embellishments on the charm letters with additions of crystals or different materials like faux tortoise skin to the whole of the bag covered in intricate beading or embroidery. In the last 20 years, the Lady Dior has taken many forms. While staying true to its classic silhouette, as with new creative directors, comes new modernisations. Maria Grazia Churi, who took over as creative director in 2017, debuted a less structured version of the Lady Dior, first unveiled at the Maison's Spring Summer 2020 show. The bag was called the Lady D-Light. The Lady D-Light has the same classic shape as its predecessor, whilst still embracing a minimalist look in line with modern times. The D-Light comes in a soft, body version, the Dior charms were replaced with block charms. The Lady D-Light is a sportier version in embroidered canvas. Maria Grazia Turi designed the Lady D-Light with a wide shoulder strap in line with today's taste for hands-free practicality. Also, the signature canard motif is recreated with a 3D embroidery, spelling out Christian Dior on the Lady D-Light's front panel. The initial colour options available in the D-Light were subtle and modern. Colours ranging from Bois de Rosé, beige, black and grey, all with pale gold hardware or a white option with silver hardware. This shows the Lady Dior has proven its ability to adapt to the times, while keeping its core aesthetics intact. The Lady D-Light also epitomises the elegance and beauty of its older predecessor, while offering a casual and wearable finish. Prices of the Dior Lady Dior bag starts at upwards of over £2,600 for the Lady Dior micro bag and £3,450 for the D-Lite medium Lady Dior bag. Christian Dior handbags are beautifully crafted and the fashion house are known for their feminine and elegant aesthetics. Few bags have been able to last numerous seasons, let alone a few decades, yet the Lady Dior bag certainly holds one of the iconic seats in the handbag world history. The Lady Dior bag is timeless, with an ever-evolving design that makes it wearable art and holding reference points on the culture of the time. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior bag still remains one of the true, classic and icons from Dior. Synonymous with style, elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage and is a must-have for any luxury handbag collection. A favourite among both fashionistas and celebrities alike, the Lady Dior is an acclaimed timeless bag that stands out from the rest. And at number 6 we have the Prada Galleria Sefiano bag. Prada is a brand that has remained at the top of the high-end fashion order for the longest time. One of Italy's most renowned fashion houses, Prada is known globally for its precise craftsmanship combining modern innovation with traditional manufacturing processes to make their highly desired and sought after products. Combining quality with classic designs is a Prada specialism, with the Prada Galleria bag being the timeless classic and most recognisable piece that epitomises this. Rooted in Prada tradition, the Galleria is Prada's most iconic bag to date and one of the most recognisable bags in the world. The bag is also often referred to as the Sefiano Luxe, after the leather it is made of. 
The Galleria was first debuted in 2007, paying homage to the history of Prada's humble beginnings. The bag pays homage to Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, where Mario Prada opened his first store in Milan in 1913. A signature of the Prada fashion house, the Galleria is commonly crafted from Prada's iconic Sefiano leather, a house code at the heart of Prada's DNA. The leather, being light and resistant, allows the Galleria bag to maintain its curves. The Galleria is an expertly designed, simple, clean bag with minimal branding. It has a sturdy structured silhouette made with this timeless leather. The Galleria is a true reflection of the brand and is essentially Prada. The Galleria tote features an open interior compartment discreetly lined with the classic Prada monogram logo jacquard lining. The Galleria also has two zipped side compartments, a zipped interior pocket and a flat open slot for small cards in addition to the double rolled top leather handles and links and charms. A detachable and adjustable leather shoulder strap for additional versatility and crossbody usage as well as two exterior pockets with a zipper closure and a slap closure on each side. The Galleria is also adorned with gold toned metal hardware on the top handles and the Prada's signature triangle applique logo plaque. The Galleria bag also features a charming leather keychain clochet and protective studded bottoms in addition to the leather piping all around the borders which keeps the bag holding its shape. The Prada Galleria is available in a few sizes including the mini Sefiano Lux, the small Sefiano Lux, the medium Sefiano Lux and the large Sefiano Lux tote and a plethora of vibrant and juicy colours. Prices of the Prada Galleria starts at upwards of almost £2,000 for the mini Safiano Galleria Lux Tote. The bag comes in a wide array of colours, from billard green, powder pink, slate grey, to orange and austere blue. Prada has stuck to its specification with its straight, clean lines, perfect edges and great leather, as well as the fantastic choice of colours and the Sefiano Lux Tote, yet again, is proof of that. Despite being understated, it remains one of the most respected high-end luxury bags and is one bag that will add an elegant touch to any outfit. The Galleria has an elegant and sophisticated, appealing, but simple aesthetics that is chic yet professional. The Galleria is spacious enough to hold all your daily essentials. With the Lux Tote being the biggest, you're able to hold everything, including a laptop or your folder or binder. The Galleria tote is ideal for that busy boss fashionista to cater to their needs all throughout the day. The Galleria is where functionality meets style and the biggest advantage of the tote is the many compartments to organise all your essentials. The Galleria is revitalised season after season and Prada releases the Galleria in a variety of colours and often resurrects old favourite hues and shades from time to time. The Galleria is a classic piece that will never go out of style and owning a Galleria is definitely, is definitely owning a piece of Prada's history. It's a signature as well as timeless. Your luxury handbag collection cannot be complete without a Prada Galleria. The Prada house has proven its longevity in the high-end fashion industry and the Prada name will, be, will still be in demand for years to come. The Galleria is a mainstay and staple icon Prada bag you can expect to see in every Prada show. For an easy go-to bag and a safe investment in your luxury collection, the Prada Galleria is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number seven, we have the Balenciaga City Bags Neo Classic Bags. Spanish luxury fashion house, Balenciaga is one of the most successful heritage fashion houses and is renowned in the luxury fashion world today. Known for its pioneering abstract designs, Balenciaga was founded in San Sebastian by fashion designer Cristobal Balenciaga, who opened his first boutique in 1917. Balenciaga has produced a multitude of stunning bags in a variety of styles and sizes, but the most iconic and attention-grabbing to date is the Balenciaga City Bag. This Balenciaga bag is the OG bag of the Balenciaga Fashion House. Designed by Nicolas Jesquier, it was released in 2000. It was an instant hit, quickly defining the fashion at the time, securing its position as the most iconic bag in the Balenciaga bag collection. The City Bag is available in a vast array of different prints and colours. The City Bag is a must-have for fashion-forward fashionistas looking for an alternative energy street look. 
The City Bag has adorned the arms of A-listers everywhere and is still a bestseller, an ageless and timeless beauty. The Balenciaga City Bag is a bag with a feminine and edgy touch, a cool bag with a twist that has transcended time and fashion trends. The City Bag is a slightly trapezoidal slouchy silhouette leather bag with a motorcycle ready look featuring distressed leather and tassels with aged hardware. A perfect match to accompany your leather jacket. The City Bag is a practical bag with a roomy and spacious compartment to fit all your daily essentials and more. The City Bag has an interior lined with cotton material, an interior zip pocket, a front zip pocket and a matching leather framed mirror which was added in the Spring Summer 2002 collection and two whip stitch hand braided leather top handles that can be looped over the elbow in addition to bold round studs with mini buckle accents at bottom corners. The City Bag also comes with a crossbody strap making the bag easy to carry and more versatile. With the city bag, you are making a bold, edgy statement, and it is certainly a bag that deserves consideration in your luxury collection. Season after season, the Balenciaga city bag remains, available in a variety of eye-catching colours and various sizes. All fashionistas will be sure to find one that suits their look. The hardware comes in a silver, gold or tonal option. The motorcycle collection series handbag from Balenciaga, in which the city bag is the most popular, made an enormous mark on the luxury handbag world. It went from an it bag to a cult favourite to a classic in a few seasons. Balenciaga uses a very lightweight, processed and durable grained calfskin lambskin leather that has a naturally distressed look that ages the bag and gives it wrinkles, making it look vintage. Balenciaga does not actually produce this type of city bag with this exact design anymore. They only produce the neo-classic bags. These are the city bags revamped in a modernised way. The Neo Classic City Bag is more structured and less slouchy, but the Premier City Bag designs can still be bought at luxury high-end third-party retailers. This design is much like its predecessors in that it comes in a multitude of colour and hardware and a wide selection of sizes from mini to large and it's also available in an array of levers to choose from like the grained calf skin to the lived-in effects and the crocodile embossed calf skin. The main difference, apart from it being more structured, is the Neo Classic does not have a version with aged leather like the City. The City bag is a versatile bag that can be used for work or as a weekend bag. Prices of the Balenciaga Neo Classic bag starts at upwards of £1,250 for the Neo Classic Mini. As for the classic City bags of the early 2000s, they are usually priced from upwards of £1,000 to £2,000 on online platforms. With its edgy appeal and aged look, the city bag is not for everyone, but it is said that the city bag gets more beautiful over time, just like a leather jacket. The city bag's durability and timelessness makes it a classic. The city bag is a non-traditional glamorous bag that will never grow out of style. It's definitely one to consider for your luxury investment collection. And at number eight, we have the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag was debuted under creative director Edie Soleimani in the Fall Winter 2014 collection and it was impossible to ignore. Seen on the arms of socialites and celebrities alike, the Sac de Jour bag first became an it bag due to its practical nature and its minimal yet stylish look. The name Sac de Jour literally translates into bag of the day and is the perfect everyday handbag. It is a signature handbag for the Saint Laurent fashion house and remains one of the most coveted and iconic bags in the Saint Laurent's archive to this day. The Sac du Jour bag features a sturdy structured rectangular shape with double roll top handles in addition to gusset and accordion like sides fixed by threaded straps that are extendable in order to create more room in the compact but well organised interior. The Sac du Jour also features snap button sides and a leather tag with a padlock feature. The Sac de Jour bag is a simple and understated bag that opens up to a nice contrasting suede lined interior which adds to the luxurious aesthetic of the bag. It also opens up to three main compartments divided by a large zipped closed partition that runs down the middle of the bag. In addition to multiple useful pockets and zippered compartments, the Sac de Jour also has several pieces of metal hardware detailing 
including metal studs on the base for added protection, the snap closures, locks and zipper pulls containing the Saint Laurent logo, offered in a gold or silver tone hardware. The Cirque du Jour is available in four different sizes, the nano, the baby, the small and the medium. You are sure to find one that suits your personal preference. The Sac de Jour bag is a simple, sleek and sophisticated bag that can easily transition you from day to evening events. No matter the event or the occasion, the Sac de Jour bag is always an appropriate accessory. The Nano is perfect for fashionistas that don't have much to carry. The baby size is also big enough to carry you through to the evening with a little extra space. The small Sac de Jour is the ideal everyday bag and perfect accessory for busy women on the go, suitable for professional work environments as well as casual outings. The medium is the largest size with an extremely roomy interior that fits everything inside, which is also perfect for work and travel. The Sac de Jour is commonly crafted from premium 100% calfskin leather or other materials and some options come in a unique finish. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag is offered in either a leather grained material, pebbled leather, which is more scratch resistant, and options in a smooth, buttery, soft leather, as well as the croc embossed finish. In addition to suede offerings, which feature a smooth leather lining and top handle. The Sac de Jour also features multi-purpose carrying options, whereby you can switch between either the top handle or the optional detachable flat shoulder strap. The Sac de Jour bag is a truly elegant and minimalistic bag that does not boast ostentatious labelling, but just a discreet Saint Laurent Paris logo printed in gold foil stamped on the main compartment under the handle. This Saint Laurent beauty is also available in a variety of colours, whether it be the traditional classic black, navy blue, grey, burgundy, red or beige. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour is an edgy, stylish, contemporary and effortlessly cool bag to add to your luxury handbag collection and no collection can truly be complete without a Sac de Jour. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour has remained part of the Saint Laurent iconic luxury handbag lineup to this day. The Sac de Jour is undoubtedly a timeless shape and a seasonless choice, a true pure classic. The pricing of the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag often varies and depends on both the size and the material of the bag and starts at upwards of £1,570, with the grained leather versions being the relatively cheaper offering while the croc embossed Sac de Jour bags being the most expensive. The Sac de Jour bag is clean, simple, roomy and delicately branded. When Saint Laurent's previous creative director, Edi Soleimani, designed the Sac de Jour bag in 2013, he openly admitted it was inspired by the Hermes Birkin bag. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag embodies the unique style of the Saint Laurent fashion house and is crafted in the highest quality material and in the highest standard of craftsmanship. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag is a masterpiece, characterised by a strong spirit of femininity and understated glamour with a minimal, if you know, you know aesthetic. With its streamlined silhouette, it is sure to make you stand out from the crowd and is definitely a handbag to add to your luxury collection. And at number nine, we have the Fendi By The Way bag. The Fendi By The Way bag has been a mainstay in the archive of classic and iconic Fendi bags since its debut in 2014. The Fendi By The Way bag has a Boston bag type shape silhouette, reminiscent of vintage doctor bags. The Fendi By The Way bag is a classic and functional versatile bag with multiple carrying options as it comes with double top handles and an adjustable and detachable shoulder strap so that you can carry the Fendi By The Way bag by hand like a clutch or crossbody like a messenger bag in hand as a handbag or over the shoulder. The double handles also feature a raised hand-painted Fendi monogram that creates some colour contrast and texture in the monochrome bag. The Fendi By The Way bag comes in a few sizes, offered in a mini, small and a medium. The mini and the small sizes are perfect 
and big enough for daily use and transitioning into an evening bag. The medium is perfect for carrying a lot more than your daily essentials. The Fendi by the Way bag opens up to a spacious canvas lined interior in two roomy compartments, divided by a zipped interior pouch and an additional pocket and is finished with palladium metal tone hardware. The Fendi by the Way bag is typically crafted in 100% calfskin leather and is commonly offered in the colours options of black, turtle dove and honey coloured. There are a few other colour options available seasonally. The Fendi by the Way bag is also hot stamped with the signature Fendi Roma script and a customisable leather pendant. Prices of the Fendi by the Way bag start at upwards of almost 1200 for the Fendi by the Way mini. The Fendi by the Way bag is a fantastic bag for organising your life. A timeless and classic bag that is a staple in Fendi's handbag lineup, whether or not it is seen on the Fendi's runway collection. With a beautiful and minimalistic simple aesthetic, the Fendi by the Way bag is a simple and safe option and definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 10 we have the Celine Luggage Tote. Debuted in 2010, the Celine Luggage Tote has long surpassed its former IT bag status and is now one of the most iconic bags offered by the Celine Fashion House under the then creative director Phoebe Philo. Initially when launched, the Celine Luggage Tote was not very popular and was easily available on the store shelves and online. It wasn't until after a later relaunch that its popularity surged when it was spotted on the arms of celebrities including the Olsen twins shortly after. This quickly created a media frenzy and shortly after the bag was selling out in stores and online. The Celine Luggage Tote is a timeless and functional classic design and is often referred to as the smile bag. The Celine Luggage Tote bag features a large squarish bottom and a slightly structured squarish silhouette body with gusset style side flaps that can be slightly extended to create winged sides making the luggage tote bigger and more roomier. The Celine Luggage Tote bag also features double top handles with a zip top opening and an exterior zip pocket in addition to the signature wave leather piping detail on the front of the bag. The Celine Luggage Tote also comprises of elements of metal tone hardware, including the protective feet in some versions in an aged silver or gold toned hardware. The Celine Luggage Tote opens up to a leather or suede lined interior and one roomy main compartment with an inner flat pocket and comes with an accompanying detachable shoulder strap, making it a versatile bag with multiple carrying options. The Celine Luggage Tote is so popular that it has been released in numerous sizes from the nano, micro, mini, medium and large, with the latter two said to be discontinued. The Celine Luggage Tote is crafted in a vast array of different materials, including leather, exotic and precious skins and different fabrics. The leather options range from smooth and grainy calf leather, and the precious skin offerings include crocodile and python skins, with fabrics offered in textiles and linen. The Celine Luggage Tote is also available in many different colours, from your classic and primary solid colours to offerings in a bicolour and tricolour combination. Prices of the Celine Luggage Tote starts at upwards of £1,850 for the Celine Luggage Nano Tote. The iconic Celine Luggage Tote is the perfect daily accompanying accessory, functional, practical and fashion forward. The Luggage Tote hits all the right boxes with its almost logo-free, unique and instantly recognisable iconic silhouette that adds to the alluring charm of the bag. The only logo detail is a small gold embossed Celine Paris on the front, at the top near the handles. The Celine Luggage Tote's timeless and classic design transcends time and fashion trends. Each season, Celine released new variations, but its minimalistic appearance remains forever. Celine is renowned for being minimalistic with minimal to no frill and no bells and whistles. Celine has an effortlessly chic aesthetic with an if you know you know appeal and the Celine Luggage Tote exudes all these Celine attributes. The Celine Luggage Tote is a perfect day to night bag that can be used on a daily basis and can importantly accentuate any outfit in an understated but stylish and sophisticated manner and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 11 we have the Givenchy Antigona Bag. The Givenchy Antigona Bag has long been one of the most popular and highly sought after bags from the Givenchy Fashion House. Seen on the arms of celebrities and socialites alike, 
The Antigona is Givenchy's most iconic and recognisable handbag offering. The Givenchy Antigona bag was launched in Givenchy's winter 2010 collection and instantly took the world by storm. Released under the creative direction of Ricardo Tisci, the Antigona is a perfect example of Givenchy's fashion-forward attitude and edgy flair. Tisci's artistic signature is traditionally a play on contrasting femininity with masculine silhouettes in both his accessory and clothing lines, and the Antigona bag perfectly encapsulates Tisci's fascination and love for the feminine and masculine contrast. The name Antigona is inspired by the powerful Greek mythology heroine, Antigon, who was Oedipus' daughter. Antigon means unbending and is significant of her strong, fiery, daring and defiant personality. She endured despite the challenges and tragedies of her life. The Antigona bag perfectly combines the masculine and feminine. The masculine aspects of the traditional Boston bag with its hard, aggressive architectural geometric shape of a trapezoidal-like boxy construction offset against the female subtle curves and rounded edges of the Antigona bag, which adds a grace and elegance to the Antigona bag's aesthetic and appeal. The Givenchy Antigona bag features double roll-top handles, an exterior triangle Givenchy patch with the Givenchy logo embossed on it, and a zipper closure mechanism, in addition to exposed stitching in some variations. The most recent variation of the Givenchy Antigona bag features a G-Link chain with the 4G padlock said to be inspired by Paris's love locks, juxtaposed against the smooth leather and industrial aesthetic. The Givenchy Antigona bag opens up to a spacious and roomy main compartment with two interior flat pockets and one zippered pocket, perfect for holding all your belongings throughout the day. The Givenchy Antigona bag now comes with an additional removable shoulder strap making the Antigona a versatile bag and allowing you to carry it in several different ways. Several of the first iterations of the Antigona bag do not have removable straps as it was introduced later when the hardware was updated. The Givenchy Antigona bag is available in a few sizes, with the Mini introduced in 2014, in addition to the small, medium and large. The large has since said to be discontinued. The small and medium sizes being the best options and the media and the medium being perfect as a weekender bag. The Givenchy Antigona bag is commonly crafted and offered in the classic leathers, which are the smooth calf skin and grained goat skin. But Givenchy have also released several seasonal leathers like robinized canvas and new buck suede. In times past, the Antigona bag has been offered in exotic leathers, including ostrich and crocodile on special requests depending on the season. To celebrate the 10th anniversary of the iconic Givenchy Antigona handbag, under the then creative director, Claire Wake Keller, Givenchy unveiled and debuted the Antigona Soft, which was a more relaxed version of the original Antigona. The Antigona Soft is crafted from soft, luxurious calfskin and features the classic Antigona hardware and components, such as the clip, zips and straps. The Antigona Soft also features twin top handles, a dual zip top closure, with Givenchy's signature bomb zip pull, in addition to the distinctive leather patch with Givenchy embossed on the front and accompanied with a detachable shoulder strap. The Antigona Soft also opens up to a canvas lining with a spacious main compartment with two internal pockets and one zip pocket. The Antigona Soft is available in a small, medium and large and is offered in quite a few colours, including the classic and timeless black and white, as well as the seasonal palette of pink, sand, military green and ice blue. Prices of the Givenchy Antigona starts at upwards of £1,250 for the Antigona Mini. The Givenchy Antigona is the perfect accessory that can transition you from day to night and the Antigona's minimalistic aesthetic is perfect for fashionistas looking for a simple, understated street style look. The Givenchy Antigona is sophisticated and effortlessly chic, a bag that is perfect and a complimentary addition to any outfit. The Antigona bag is a robust, sleek and timeless classic, fusing and balancing the equilibrium between strong and soft, masculine and feminine, alluring and confident. Not just a statement piece, the Givenchy Antigona bag is a mainstay in Givenchy's archive of iconic luxury bag, an ultra stylish bag and an investment piece that will see you through many years. The 
and at number 12 we have the Loewe Amazona bag. Founded in 1846, Loewe is the most prestigious Spanish luxury fashion house with over 175 years of rich culture, history and roots with royal heritage. One of the oldest luxury fashion houses in the world, Loewe originated as an artisan's cooperative in Madrid, which specialised in small superior leather goods before it was merged under the name Loewe in 1872. It was then Enrique Loewe Rosenberg, who the brand is named after, took over the cooperation. The brand's quality was so unrivaled, so much so that demand grew. Loewe handbags draw the most fashion interest to the label. Each piece is the definition of modern luxury, a sophisticated fashion vision that has stood the test of time. The Loewe Amazona bag was originally designed in 1975, marking the new era in Spanish society. The Amazona has been making a statement ever since. The Loewe Amazona bag is forever associated with powerful females, named after the female characters of Greek mythology, the Amazon, a race of warrior women. The Loewe Amazona bag is a revolutionary bag, created at a time of major cultural shift, when women were gaining their equality and independence in the workplace. The 1960s and 70s was the period of second wave feminism, and the women were finally having their voices heard. It was at the end of the Spanish dictatorship that the Amazona was designed to celebrate women's newfound feminine freedom. It was designed to be liberating, embodying and personifying the spirit of the era. The Amazona bag is a practical bag, comfortable and versatile, with enough space to hold everything needed over the course of a working day. The Loewe Amazona bag features an understated, minimalistic rectangular frame with reinforced corner tabs that are finished with hand-painted curves for a luxurious touch. The Loewe Amazona bag is commonly crafted in the supple Napa calfskin of the jacquard fabric. With the signature Loewe fabric, specially treated, making the bag water repellent and resistant to stains. The Amazona jacquard's anagram is Loewe's emblem of the four interlocking L's woven into a new blended cotton fabric. The Loewe Amazona bag features double roll top handles, a two-way zip closure mechanism with discrete leather pulls in tonal calfskin and elements of metal hardware, including the square metal feet as its base, providing extra protection. The Amazona bag opens up to a suede-lined main compartment with an interior zip pocket and a wall pocket with a snap closure, in addition to a fully functional padlock engraved with Loewe's anagram and the inside of the bag also has a mini pocket for its key. The most recent revamped Amazona bag is now said to feature a leather name tag in place of the key tag with the lock now gone. The Loewe Amazona also features leather piping and leather reinforced corners and is finished with the Loewe Made in Spain branding embossed in gold on the inside panel and on the inside of their leather straps. The Loewe Amazona bag comes in many different sizes. It comes in an Amazona 16, an Amazona 19, an Amazona 23, and an Amazona 28. Other sizes previously offered by Loewe included an Amazona 33, an Amazona 36, an Amazona 48, an Amazona 45, and an Amazona 75. Aside from the Napa leather and the Loewe anagram jacquard fabric that it's usually offered in, the Amazona has also been crafted in different materials, some exotic like ostrich skin and in addition to some options in a suede offering. Prices of the Loewe Amazona bag starts at upwards of 1,600 from the newly introduced Amazona 16 bag. The Loewe Amazona is also available in numerous colours and shades including green, black, lagoon blue, lime yellow, mink and warm desert. Under the creative direction of Jonathan Anderson, the Loewe Amazona bag was reborn as part of Loewe's 175 year celebration, debuting two new styles on Loewe's full winter 2021 runway collection. The Amazona 19 square and the Amazona 28 joined the Amazona 23. Both crafted in Loewe's signature Napa calfskin leather and the house's signature anagram symbol woven in a jacquard as a pattern repeating itself over the blended cotton canvas. 
The Amazona bag is the most iconic bag in Loewe's handbag offering, imbuing Loewe's history and heritage, and is proof of Loewe's everlasting mission to premium quality and craftsmanship. The Loewe Amazona bag is designed for all kind of occasions and is the perfect accompaniment to any outfit, suiting all kinds of stylistic preferences. The Amazona is the ultimate investment of premium craftsmanship and timeless sophistication. The Amazona is a bag that has and will continue to stand the test of time and fashion trends and will keep a strong hold in your wardrobe. And that concludes our options of top handle bags in the double top handle selection that you should consider adding to your luxury collection. We will see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye from Creme de Luxury.